Okay, so the next thing I want to go over is how to add effects to channels within Reaper. Uh, so if we come up to our range window here, we can see that we have effects buttons next to all of our channels up here. And this is where we can find our effects dialog box and where we can access our effects browsers so we can add any VSTs or AU units uh, into our session. So if I open up one on SPAT, this is where we're going to start. We're going to start at the beginning of the signal flow and work through to the end, uh, just so it makes a little bit more sense. Um, so once you click effects here, this should bring up your dialog box to kind of access your plugins. This is where you will find all of your plugins listed on the left-hand side, as well as their GUI displayed here so that you can edit any parameters that you need to edit. Uh, it should come up with the add effects dialog box here. If it doesn't, all you need to do is click the add button here. So if I exit this and click add, it'll come up. So that's how you kind of access and search through the plugins that are available to you. So if I use the filter box down here and I type in FB360, we can see all of our spatializer plugins come up here. Now I have noticed a glitch occasionally with Reaper where the Spatializer plugin may be missing from this list. Now this is an easy fix. So I click back on the main Reaper window and I come up to Reaper, Preferences. This will be a slightly different uh, process in Windows, but the preferences should be pretty similar. Uh, we open this up and we scroll down to, uh, where is it, Plugins. I select VST. And if you deselect, do not scan names slash types, and then click apply and okay, it should then appear uh, in the list. You may need to force it to rescan. So within that window, again, back to plugins, uh, VSTs, clear cache and rescan should rescan all of your plugins and display them in that dialog box. Okay, so back to it. So what we're going to add to this track is the Spatializer plugin, and this is essentially an augmentation of your standard Panner plugin. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this now because we're going to do that in later videos, but suffice it to say, this is where you can move the source around, decode ambisonic uh, files so they're spatialized with the rest of your sound, and manipulate those with video in the video browser up here. So next up, I'm just gonna add that to both of these Spatializer channels here. So Spatializer, oh, uh, I, I think I just accidentally added that to the previous channel. Let me, uh, we're good there, we're good there. Okay, so we've got Spatializer plugins on both of these channels. These channels are then routed to the 3D Master as we did earlier, and 3D Master needs a converter plugin on it. So the converter plugin is here, in the Facebook 360 collection. And we just want to bring that up here. We also are going to put the uh, mix loudness down on here. Uh, Facebook has two loudness plugins, one that monitors uh, spatialized audio and one that monitors stereo audio. So we just need to put this on our 3D master prior to the control plugin. All of the spatialized processes need to be done before the control plugin and any other processing as well, including compression, mastering, all that stuff, that all needs to be done before the control processing. So that's why I'm keeping the control on a separate channel so that the only thing happening on that channel is the control plugin uh, and everything is happening before that and being routed to that at the end, okay? So opening up effects again on control, I'm just going to bung the control plugin on here and I'm not going to put anything else on there and I'm not going to touch it for now. I'm just going to leave the settings as they are. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Uh, and just finally, we don't need to do any processing to the Headlock Master, but we are going to put the Stereo Loudness plugin on there so that we can monitor the loudness on that as well. Again, I will go over, to, over how the loudness plugins work in more detail in a later video.